I'm Ronan. I'm Rhiannon. This is our planet, and we have stories to tell you from around the world. Right now, there are 67 million children who don't go to school. More than half of them are girls. Some are out of school because they can't afford it. Some have to work or support sick members of their family. And sometimes there are just no schools to go to. As ambassadors for the Global Campaign for Education, we were invited to visit young people who were struggling to get an education in Ghana. It was great to meet those who were helping with the campaign over there. One of them was Gifty, a 15-year-old girl who showed us around her school. It's so important that children in countries like Ghana get an education. It helps them earn more money, escape poverty and stay healthy. And when they grow up, they can pass on the benefits of education to their own children. Gifty is very active in making sure girls do not miss out. There is an old African saying, when you educate a girl, you educate a nation. Think about it. Now it's time to tell you about our 2011 campaign. At the end of 2010, the numbers of children out of school dropped from 72 million to 67 million. An extra 5 million children around the world are now going to school, and that's great. But it's not good enough, and all this affects girls more than boys. Kaltume lives in Nigeria, West Africa. Her dad died two years ago, leaving her mother with a family of five children to take care of. This is her story. Leah is from Tanzania. That's in East Africa. She helps her family to look after cattle and goats. Leah's sister goes to school, but she doesn't. This is her story. Kaltume and Leah are our sisters, not related by blood, but they belong to our generation. They have as much right to an education as you or me. World leaders have promised education for all by 2015. They've got to get their skates on because it's not that long away. And we know how you can help. Think about an out-of-school sister you'd want to tell someone about. It can be a real person or a character you create. Write in a speech bubble what she wants or might want to say to world leaders. Now base the other character on you and put your message to world leaders into your speech bubble. When you're done, send your messages on a journey. First stop, your local MP. World leaders have made a promise that by 2015, every young person will get to go to school. But it's only if young people in Britain speak up and tell MPs like me that they want to see that happen, that we're going to have the power to tell our Prime Minister to keep that promise. Your local MP can send your messages to the Prime Minister. The more you can have campaigns like yours, saying this is the issue that matters, getting young people into school all over the world, uh, the more you'll get funding for it, the more you get attention for it, and the more that can happen. The Prime Minister can also influence the leaders of the world's richest countries when he meets them at the G8 in June and the G20 in the autumn. To make sure your voice is included, please send all your messages to your local MP by the end of June. Good luck and remember the words of encouragement Nelson Mandela gave us. Children of the world, now is the time for your generation to stand side by side together. You are the future of this world. It's up to us. Get involved now. 67 million children in the world are out of school. And most of them are girls. Giving a girl an education is the best way for her to escape poverty. Take part in Send My Sister to School and let's give every girl, as well as every boy, a chance to go to school. Let's change the world for the better and, and help, help send, send our sisters, sisters to school. school.